Hey, it's oh, it's me. Oh, now I gotta find the darn thing. Oh, not she's the last one I turn over. Tay from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. I just got in. Take my headphones on. Hey. Black man got to run with his music, you know what I'm saying? So always got to have music when I travel. I just came out. This came early. Oh, man. I can't take this off. Because it's warm in here. Got to keep warm. Now, you see? See how I roll? I wear dark glasses no matter what because I don't want people to see. No, that's not true. I don't want people to see into my whole, no, 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 my, my soul. No, no, no. Now, what happens is, in fact, let me just take this. Oh, this is, let me take the glasses off. Huh. Ooh. Actually, you know, whether it's cloudy, whatever it is, you know, you should actually wear glasses. Well, this is what I learned from my South African, you know, uh, uh, optometrist. And I conf actually, I kind of confronted with the VA people. Anyway, uh, because, you know, those floaters that you get later on in life, well, it's because of something that the UV, UV rays keep on coming in even when the sun is not there. So actually when it's cloudy, that, that that's the time you should wear sunglasses, whatever it is. Anyway, I don't care what it is. I look cool in some of them, so I wear some of them, something I guess I borrow people's, whatever it is, whatever. It is. And then I have my little, now this is a thing I got a long time ago. This is a like a scarfy thing, you see? It's a scarf. It goes like that. I think it's called a buff in the South Africa. That's where I got it from, a buff. And you can wear it a bunch of ways, you know? Like you can wear it like, uh, hey, come here, what am I doing? You, you can wear it like this, you know? Like that. You could wear it, you know, the way I wear it now. Well, you can wear it a bunch of ways. You just wear it around your neck, you know, you could, whatever. But what I do is I put it like that, right? And then I put this up like that. You say, well, brother. And I can move this around actually a little bit. Oh, brother, why don't you wear a regular mask? You know, at factory, this, I can even pump it up if I, uh, pump it up, pimp it up if I want. Because I could take, like, a paper towel, you know, put some peppermint drops in that bad boy or something like that. Put some peppermint drops in paper towel, and I can actually then take this, right? If I wanted some extra protection. I put it up in there, so the paper towel is in there, right? Like that, but I still can breathe, like that. Now here's the thing about masks. Here's the thing about masks. They've been talking about masks. People should be wearing something. Masks does a couple of things. Well, a few things. First of all, if, if you're if you have the virus, or if you have if you're a carrier, whatever whatever they call it, you got it, but you're not manifesting it, whatever have you, then that you know then that prevents that from going somewhere else. Then plus people prevent people not prevents but delay people from getting to you, right? Plus it's a psychological thing, you know. Well, since everybody knows something's happening, there's no need in trying to hide it just by some people wearing masks. So this is psychological. Everybody's wearing masks. So the other thing I thought about. This is not scientific, whatever. This is just me waxing, right? Part of the thing about the virus, it starts, it, it, it'll, it'll get in your nose, you know what I mean? And then from the nose, which it's like activated, it gets cold, it's activated, and then it goes into your lungs or whatever. Happy. This is what, this is what I, you know, I could be wrong. Just you research it for yourself. But what I thought about, I said, not, again, this is not scientific. This is me, T, letting you know what I only suspect from an undisclosed location, by the way. Anyway. So what happens is uh, when you wear the mask, since you're breathing, you're actually warming up your nose. So if so, so what I'm trying to say is like, if the virus is not heat resistant, it is, which it isn't, then you want you want to keep your your passageway because this the reason why your nose is your nose is when you're breathing, your nose sort of sort of like um, um, you know warms the air when it well it sort of takes the cool air and it, when you stays in there longer then it warms the air and goes in whatever. I don't know however the nose works you know are you asking me do I look like I'm some sort of whatever but anyway, there's a lot of people working on this right now you know what I mean so you're going to find out a lot about this but right now everybody wear a mask just, just, just to humor me <laughs> if I walk past you you know what I mean um, plus the other thing is that I don't have anything because you know your immune system is your immune system. So I went and got so you know I got my immune system. My immune system is pretty good. You know what I mean? Well, I think it's really good. It's less. I don't take no flu shots. Never have. Never will. I'll tell you that right now. So you you can get a you get a remedy if you want from this. I don't take no flu shots. But I do as I try to boost my immune system. You know. 
So what I do is I, I've always, I've done this for such a long time because I had a little accident with the C, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, and so what I do is I just take a, I just been, I just, from traveling since, since like when I had my accident with the C was 2002, and then since 2003, since I came to South, came to South Africa, went to, well, I'm not in South Africa now, obviously I'm stuck here <laughs> on this cold location in Upper Manhattan. Anyway, um, this is water, by the way. So basically from 2003, I was like on a, even before that I was pretty healthy, but I was like, like on a healing mission because I had this little incident, it doesn't matter. So I learned a lot. Um, so one of the things I, I really learned, and aside from just drink, well, drink a lot of water, this has always been known, is that stuff is out there. And you gotta, you know, you gotta prepare for stuff that's out there. That's that's the whole particular point. So I give you the, to show you what I mean, let me give you the, the most, the grossest example I can give you. Now, let me give you a, a, a placid example first. There's this thing I read or saw when it come across, because like, you know, people like like me, like like a lot of people like to watch a lot of nature stuff, whatever have you. There's this tribe and what they do from the time the boys are young, you know, they have different pots, like they'll stick, or some sort of rites of passage, I guess, maybe it's later rites of passage. They'll stick their hands in this, just like, um, um, gourd or whatever it is, and they'll be poisonous, whatever, you know, things that sting you that will that can kill you right and so and it'll it'll sting them right but because they go through this stuff they are immune to their surroundings you know so something that if you come in as a as a conqueror as a colonialist you come into this spot when them bugs bite you you <laughs> fall over dead but then because that's what they're you know they're used to their little circle you know but they they prepared for that all their life not only their life but their lineage like like the, the, whatever is preventing them from dying is in their lineage by now because it's that's their tribal area and that's what you know everybody from their great 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 you know their lineage they're just their their ancestors their whatever people that came before them have gone through this so they sort of have in their system they built it up you know it's like the sickle cell anemia you know what I'm talking about so, um, so I bring this up because let me tell you something that happened to me because I was on my little mission, you know, traveling around in 2000, was it 2003? So 2004, I took this trip and I was traveling, you know, again, I was going to a lot of places to, to heal, you know, it was, uh, um, to sort of mode out. That's where I learned, um, well, I knew massage, I knew Tai Chi before I knew that, no, I didn't know Tai Chi before. Um, uh, I didn't do Tai Chi then, but I was doing, uh, all kinds of therapies, you know, all, all kinds of therapies. But one of the therapies I came across is I've read about it was urine therapy, you know, where you drink your own urine. Stop, relax. So, so the thing is, I say, hey, I'm traveling. I think I was in Northern Thailand by this time. I've been going like four, four months out or whatever. I don't know. So I was in Northern Thailand. I had gone through India. All kinds of people massaging me, trying to, you know, all kinds of you know, acupuncture, all, all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? Um, then I was in Nepal for a second, and I had gained some modalities that I learned in Nepal. Um, then went then then went to Thailand, and it got some sort of Thai massage. Went to this way I learned reflexology, blah blah blah. But somewhere in there, I went uh, from I was in Chiang Mai, I guess. Yeah, I was in uh, I was first in Bangkok, then Chiang Mai. Then I went to a place called Pai, and there it was really interesting. First of all, I met this sister who had trained in acupuncture at Lincoln Hospital in the South Bronx, you know, because Lincoln Hospital, not the old, not the one I was, not the one that they healed my stitches here in my hand, no, the one that, one that they built right there on 149th Street, right? That new hospital, they had this whole drug program when they was teaching people how to do acupuncture for, for you know, drug rehab, you know? And so this sister had gone through that, right? And her name is Anna. So I met her in, strangely enough, in Pai, Thailand, and she gave me these sessions, you know what I mean? And she was the best, let me put it this way. I've had acupuncture, but acupuncture does not work for me. But she was the best, but it just doesn't work for me, you know? Um, anyway, but also up there, because I was alone, it was like just, just the season was just ending or something like that. I think the season was ending or there wasn't a lot, a whole lot of people there. And um, and when that's where I went, I went to uh, Ginger House. I went uh, learned uh, cooking with ginger. Everything you cook, you cook with ginger. It's just stuff with ginger. It doesn't matter. Good, good trip. But I decided, well, Hey, I'm gonna try this urine therapy. But now what I did is you have to you have to prepare yourself and do everything the way it's supposed to be done, right? So what happened with the ginger with, with that therapy is before, like a week before, maybe yeah, a whole week, I didn't drink any alcohol. I just drank, you know, I just ate real 
well, uh, you know, vegetables, whatever have you. Uh, sort of like, yeah, vegetarian. Uh, yeah, actually, I was on a vegetarian kit when I was on this trip. Yeah, I was in India. Well, then I went to Thailand. Yeah, I was doing a lot of vegetarian. The only flesh I did was like fish, you know what I mean? But no meats, whatever have you. And so basically, so so my urine, right, you are what you eat. Your urine is an ultra filtrate of blood. You, you understand? Urine is actually, urine, I used to be a lab technician, trust me on this. Urine, a real urine is actually sterile. I know. Who would have thought? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's still your urine is sterile. It's, it's, it's sterile. Let's put it that way. And but but anyway, so so when you when I drank it, it was fine. I I, I think this think this for a week and uh, it didn't do anything for me or to me. I don't know what what it is. But the taste is what you what you drink. So I think a lot of people, if you try to do this kind of urine therapy, if you've been drinking, if you've been eating stuff and blah blah, blah it's gonna you're gonna taste it. Whatever. I'm making this long, but let me make let me. Almost end this here. So I just came in this morning. We I was all dressed up. Excuse me. I came in so because I went to Whole Foods. Now why did you go to Whole Foods when you go to Trader Joe's? I went to Trader Joe's the other day. I went to Whole Foods because of this. They're the only ones that have my goat's milk yogurt. I love this stuff. You no, know? and now I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'm gonna make that thing with uh, with a banana and uh, hopefully this here yeah, and avocado. So I'll put that in, in a bowl of yogurt. And blah, blah, blah. I actually use yogurt just to sort of smear it over. Oh, smear is a New York word, by the way. Smear is like smear cream cheese. It's a, don't worry. Uh, so I got that. And then while I was there, see, I don't use, I, I mean, I use I use vegan eggs when I'm in the States. But also for us, the thing, I use hummus, you know. But here's an original that says oil-free hummus. Looks kind of fancy. I hope it's cheap. But then I saw this mango spiracha, whatever this is. I'm going like, oh, I got to try that. Me and mango, it's like this. Me, man. I, you know, the best thing I ever did, I do, you, if you take a mango, see, the problem is your seasons have to overlap. At least what I do in the South Africa. You know, you take avocado, you take mango, you just cut up and put it bowl, and they put a little bit of pumpkin seed oil on it, and you eat that straight. That's really good. I got, then I got some zinc. I haven't had zinc, so I am going to do some zinc. Zinc now, because zinc is supposed to be good for you. So I'll do that. Where's my other? Oh, there it is. It's my other. Actually, the reason why I went there, because I'm really going to sequester myself from now for f after tomorrow. Um, I got two two of the yogurts. They're good until whatever. So I put it in. But here's what happened. So I went early because Whole Foods, let me see. They I think they open at 8, but you can be, yeah, they open at 8, but seniors can go there from an hour earlier, from 7 to whatever. So I'm going like, really? I'm so, so I'm up here anyway. And I just, I don't know. What, I, I think I can, at 6.30, I checked the, the computer. I was checking the computer. Let me see when Whole Foods opened. And it said that seniors were also, oh. So I just went up there and walked down to Whole Foods. I was it's about 10 blocks from where I am right now. And, um, and so I went in there and, and you know, before everything, I'm an early person. I was like, oh, this is great. But here's what happened. Let me tell you some Whole Foods that I didn't know. Here's what happened. So I'm not drinking wine. I'm not. I don't drink alcohol, but I'm not drinking you no know, spirits. But I'm not drinking wine these days because you know they get the sulfites in it, and no matter what, whether it's red or white or, or something like that, I don't want to deal with those sulfites. But I, I want to do my beer. So I went to Whole Foods and I got my favorite, which is Guinness Extra Stout. Now Guinness has a lot of things, but the Extra Stout is the one you is the one that's the you know. The manly one. I'm sorry. Okay, it's my water. I've been drinking your water. Stay hydrated. So I go to the register, and it wouldn't scan. And there's a thing at Whole Foods. If it doesn't scan, you take it. So basically, I got free. <laughs> oh, oh, don't I live the charm life? I can't believe it. Well, you know, like I said, remain principled. See, if you're principled, good things will happen to you. Anyway, I just want to give you a little update or give you a little something. But the main thing, I guess the thing, but the, just prepare yourself with everything, right? Stay, and the uh, reason why I don't, for instance, I got yogurt, you know, goat smoke yogurt. Mm, dairy is not really good for you, but I do have eggs. But I don't do cheese and stuff like that because you don't want to clog your system up at this particular point. You want to, you want to unclog your system, you see? So remember, remember that and, you know, stay well. This has just been a little message from me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect. You know where I am. Someplace that you don't know where I am. Right? Later.